Good Sunday morning, everyone. Uh, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Uh, this is Minister Tremaine here with a, another inspirational message for you. Amen. How many of you all know that the Lord is good? And all the time, God is good. Amen. I just thank the Lord for waking me up this morning and starting me on my way. And giving me one more chance to say yes to his will and yes to his ways. Amen. Today I'm going to be coming out of the book of Galatians uh, 5 and 25. And it says, if we, if we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. And that's a, a very a powerful verse there. Good verse. Amen. Because walking in the spirit gives us more power than walking by the flesh. Amen. And uh, what I get out of that scripture today is we, saints of God, must walk by the flesh. I mean, who? Excuse me. Walk by the spirit. <laughs> walk by the spirit. Amen. And not the flesh. Not the flesh. So we must walk by the spirit. See, we are not controlled by the drives of the flesh when we walk by the spirit. And I was reading here, how do we walk by the spirit? From desiringgod.org, the phrase walk by the spirit, not only in uh, uh, verses 25, but also in, in 16, it says walk by the spirit and do not... Uh, gratify the desires of the flesh. Amen. And uh, let's see. It says, This I say, walk in the spirit, and ye not to fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusts against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. These are contrary to one another and to the other, so that you ye cannot do the things that ye would. Amen. But if ye led of the spirit, ye are not under, uh, ye are not under the law. And uh, see, when we walk in the spirit, uh, we are not in the desires of the world. Amen. Because the flesh is the old, ordinary human nature that does not relish the things of God, but does prefer satisfaction from independence, power, prestige, and worldly pleasures. Amen. And when we're caught up in our flesh, when we're caught up in our flesh, we can go down roads that we wish we never, never would have went down. So that's why it pays, amen, to really, 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 really get more into the spirit, walk into the spirit. Amen. And when we walk into the spirit, we are not controlled by the desires of our flesh. This is what the verse 17 says in that same verse. The flesh produces one kind of desires and the spirit produces another kind. See, the flesh produces a desire that thinks the spirit wants. Amen. And if we're not careful, our flesh can tell us that, oh, God wanted me to do that. God wanted me to go to this job over here. The money may be good, but the benefit ain't. And plus, you know, you're having trouble on the job. God told me to be with this girl or this man right here. I really, really like him or her. Well, you get with that person, but you're having all kinds of trouble. All kinds of hell. <laughs> Well, God told me uh, to move into that house right there. I don't really like it here. It's The neighborhood seemed nice. Not knowing that you live right next door to a bunch of dope dealers. Hey. <laughs> I'm serious now. See, we let our flesh get us. It will take us down those roads that is not good for us. Amen. So we, we as Christians, the people of God, the children of God, amen. We are royal priesthood, peculiar people, amen. And we are a chosen generation and we have to walk by the spirit when we become saved, when we become born again, 
the old heart that we once had in us is taken out of us and we are put with a new heart that reflects Christ. Amen. And it goes on to read, say, walking by the Spirit is what uh, we do. And when the desires are produced by the Spirit, they are stronger than the desires produced by the flesh. This means that walking by the Spirit is not something we do in order to get the Spirit's help, but rather, just as a phrase implies, it is something that we do by the enablement of the Spirit. We are going to desire. We are going to want. Amen. But if we just delight yourself in God, he will give you the desires of your heart. Amen. He will give you what is right for you. He will give you what you are supposed to have. Amen. See, the flesh will have us going after, trying to grab this, grab that. And it ain't for you. But if we just learn to just come on up, lift up our head. Open your eyes. You'll be able to see. Oh, you know what? That was not for me. Oh, no, he she's not for me. I got to get out of this relationship. You'll begin to see. You'll begin to see what the flesh has been doing to you. If you just open your eyes. Amen. And observe. And I encourage each and every one of you out there today. To walk in the spirit. Amen. Walk in the spirit. Amen. This is such a powerful, powerful message here on today. And I just thank the Lord for filling my heart. Amen. You know, uh, every time I will say this, every time, uh, man, my, my flesh want to try to control me, I begin to pray. And I begin to tell the Lord, Lord, get this out of me. Lord, it's not right. And you know, it's nothing wrong with satisfying ourselves and nothing wrong with treating ourselves, amen, and, 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 you know, doing things, you know, but can we do it in a godly way? Can we do it by the Spirit? Amen. Let's not do it by our flesh, because the flesh will get us in a world of trouble. It will cause us to disobey God. It will cause us to to go places where we shouldn't even be going. And speaking of obeying God, you know, it reminds me of how, how uh, Jonah, when God told Jonah to go to Nineveh, and he didn't go. Amen. So I don't care how good it looked like. I mean, I don't care how uh, not so good it may not look like. Amen. Or how worse you may think it is. If God says, Walk in the spirit. Do it. Amen. Just follow the instructions of the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, just thank God for this message on today. That is a Sunday message. Uh, I encourage all of you out there to stay, keep covenant with God. Read your word every day and pray every day. If you're not a big praying person, I encourage you to get off into the word and pray and watch how God blesses you. Amen. Somebody needs Jesus right now. And I pray right now in the name of Jesus that God comes in and intervenes in your life. Amen. With that, I will uh, thank you for watching this video. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Do me a favor. Go on to my YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe button. Turn up notifications on. And enjoy. God bless you. And may peace be with you. And may your day be blessed.